Hello everyone, I'm Laura Couturier, a conservator of objects and furniture. In the next minutes, we're going to discover the conservation of this radio, which is a receiver belonging to the Museum of Social and Urban History in Suresne, France. This work resumes my final year master's thesis at the National Institute of Heritage. Rima Attaed and François Duboisset supervised it, Marie-Pierre de Guillaume oversaw the historical study, and Émilie Lebourg followed the scientific research. First, we need to forget about our time and come back at the beginning of the 20th century when Philips designed the radio receiver and La Radio Technique manufactured it in 1935. So, this radio receiver is a case built on two feet. Its face has spaces for set of buttons. A backlit frame contains a textile where the sound was emerging and a station deal made of celluloid. Sides and case top doesn't have anything added. The back is open and revealed the modified electronic section. The radio has alterations and must be treated. First, I took apart the radio and conservation measures start with dusting. I mechanically remove corrosion. After, I apply microcrystalline wax as protection for metal. I stabilize the frayed textile with glucil J. For the broken plywood, to begin, the material required moisture supply with a nebulizer. I fasten it bricks with fish glue and I place it into the press. After 30 minutes, I cleaned it and I put back everything into the press. I solidify the uplifted veneer and wood with the fish glue. I fix it the lighting lamp with a new screw. And finally, I must consolidate the broken celluloid. But first, we must find a glue adapted to it. After preliminary experiments, we selected three resin, EverArt, Acryl 33 and Clusil J. We realized that a simple drop-by-drop -drop consolidation isn't enough. Then we decided to use adhesive film which I made by pulling liquid resin across the surface and glued paper that I made by applying a Japanese paper on the fresh adhesive film. We determined the transparency and color with colorimetric tests. Only adhesive films of EverArt, Acryl 33 and Clusil J had good results. We evaluated the stickiness properties with a tensile test and a peel test. Adhesive film of EverArt and Acryl 33 had the best result. Next, others experiments validated their reversibility. After reading articles, we learned that EverArt has an acceptable pH after aging, while Acryl 33 haven't. Then we selected EverArt. We could consolidate celluloid with it. The first step focused on putting the two pieces on the same level with wedges and weights. Then I infiltrated EverArt in break and cracks. It dried one hour and I removed the wedges and weights. Next, I cut EverArt films into thin ribbons. I put them on a break and I reactivated them with cumin. For the paper's consolidation, we decided to use adhesive film of EverArt. I applied them to tear and uplift and I reactivated them with a hot spatula. Consolidations was done. Then we started treatments for a better readability with an adapted cleaning. After, I filled the varnish lacuna with regalras diluted in lagrarin. And came the retouching. I applied black watercolor to paint gap, and when it was dry, I put regalras. I also applied it to backlit scratches. I finally reassembled the radio, and we are now able to see the before and after picture. The receiver is stable and we gain intelligibility while keeping traces of utilization and handling. Thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me.